this CH we start with one of our chart. Just I want to give a quick update. If you refer to our analysis, since the price was within this move, we mentioned we're looking for buy. Okay, and if we refer to our analysis, when the price was here, we mentioned if there is a continuation from here, if we get any sharp move for lag, we can look for trade. This is what we have been looking for. And beside that, we mentioned we if we want to, I mean, the best thing is to let you give, I mean, let's wait for one more drop. Then from there, any reversal, we can look for buy. But the only thing is, as we can see, the price dropped, but it couldn't break this low. In this case, if we refer to our analysis, because after that, I didn't have an update, okay? The trader should be in trade from this one. And even if anyone get the trade from here is very good because if you refer to the 15 minute, as we can see, the price drop almost near to the previous low, but it couldn't break. All right, that's why we could get the trade from here by having entry above this. But anyway, as I mentioned, I didn't have any update. And if we follow our last analysis, we should be in the trade within this one. And also if anyone get the trade from here is very good. Anyway, since we have been looking for buy, this is what we get. And right now, if anyone get a trade either from here or from here, at least they should move, move, not move even stop loss to break even, at least book some profit because we can move, I mean, we, we can book at least profit within this range. Maybe we move our stop loss to around 1.2, 1200. 0, 0. Okay, it depends on the traders. And what I want to see, at least they manage the trade. I mean, they start to manage the trade, they have it. Okay. Now we want to see what's the next if we move to daily chart. Based on daily chart, we see the price broke the previous stop. How about if we move to higher time frame? We check the higher time frame. All right, based on daily chart, still we can look for continuation. And how about if I move to 15 weekly chart? All right, the only thing says based on weekly chart, we need to see the continuation and we want to see whether the price can reach 1855. Okay, it's too early to talk about that. In this case, we move to daily chart. All right, based on daily chart, as we can see, the price broke the previous stop and we see the divergence. Anyway, we don't need to care about the divergence right now, but the only thing is we're looking for continuation. Any trade from now, we should have a like proper management because mostly we can get the correction. All right, where we can get the correction right now, we cannot confirm, but similar to any of this move, every time I mentioned any sharp move followed by correction. That's why from now, if we want to look for trade, we need to be quite careful, but still we're looking for continuation and if I move to forward chart we don't have any things but we can expect to get the correction the only thing is whatever the trade within this we have to start to manage okay beside that we don't have anything to discuss and if I move to one hour chart same as what we're explaining based on forward and daily chart we're looking for continuation and from now if we get any flag or small correction either based on one hour or 15 minutes we can look for trade but any trade will be a short-term trade unless we get a bigger correction. In this case, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.